सो गाइज वेलकम टू अ रियली क्विक टूटोरियल ऑन हाउ यू कैन फिक्स योर कंट्रोलर इशूज इन जी टी ए वाइस सिटी सो वट यू नीड टू डू यू जस्ट नीड टू गो ऑन दिस पेज आई विल प्रोवाइड ऑल द लिंक्स डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन देन यू जस्ट हैव टू स्क्रोल डाउन ऑल द वे एंटिल यू सी डाउनलोड फॉर जी टी ए वाइस सिटी राइट हेयर क्लिक ऑन दैट देन यू विल बी एबल टू डाउनलोड द जी इनपुट मॉड फॉर जी टी ए वाइस सिटी यू गोना नीड दिस ऑल्सो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन यूज जी टी ए फोर स्टाइल कंट्रोल्स in vice city as well so now first of all i have a ps5 controller right here okay and this is not going to work but there's a catch so what you need is a software something like ds4 windows or dsx right here so i'm going to use this uh so the method is pretty much the same all you have to do is basically emulate your ps3 ps4 or ps5 controller as an xbox 360 uh style controller basically you have to use x input api so once you run this like application turn on the emulation and stuff you can follow any guide available online for the ds4 windows or this thing this thing is paid by the way dsx is paid so you can follow any of that so once you able to like emulate your ps4 or ps3 or whatever controller in xbox 360 After that, you have to open the location where you save your uh, game. Basically, where your GTA and uh, Vice City is. All right. Open this folder. I have Essential Pack installed, and I highly recommend you guys to install Essential Pack. Other than that, if you guys want full game, the one I'm using right here, you including G input in it. So you can basically find it in my Discord server. The link is in the description as well. So now, if you have the Steam version, you have to downgrade to version one point zero because that's the version we need to mod the game. So now, once you are in this page, and if you have mod loader installed, we can install it inside here. But I'm just gonna install it over here instead of that. Okay. So now we have to highlight these three files: the models API, uh, G input VC dot ASI and G input VC dot INI. Extract them like that. Okay. Then you just have to close this archive. We don't really need this anymore. so now if we can we use our controller right now we can basically use it as an uh, the ps2 style controls basically but if you want to change it into like gta 4 or gta 5 modern style of controls what you need to do you need to find g input vc dot ini then you have to look for a line that says uh, something about their control set is equal to 1 so the first one is basically the gta uh, like ps2 style controls where like you can use x button or a button on uh, x, uh, xbox controller to drive your vehicles but we need we want to use our triggers right so what we need to do we want to remove this one from here and then we can replace it with 5 then all we have to do is just go on file and save this and if you like if you guys go on on the documentation in the archive you can find more details about it so i highly recommend you guys to check out the documentation as well if you want to like change stuff or whatever then we can just close this off so now we are pretty much done just let me enable my dsx otherwise this thing won't work so we are pretty much ready to rock also guys if you don't want to use any third party software or whatever you can do one thing as well If you don't want that, I mean, you can just simply go on Steam, add a non-Steam game here, go on to browse, browse the file GTA Vice City right here, add GTA Vice City dot exe, then add selected program, then you just have to right-click properties controller, and you can simply enable Steam Import API right here. Okay, so this thing will also work if you guys don't want to use uh, any of this software-related method, but you have to launch game from Steam uh, by then. So now let's just use this one. We just gonna emulate it as an Xbox controller. After that, you just have to uh, launch the game, pretty much. So let's just launch the game and see if it's working or not. And I highly recommend you guys to install Essential Pack as well because it fixes a lot of bugs and stuff. So now the YCT is here, and we gonna use our controller. So as as you guys can see right here, the thing is indeed working, and we can pretty much just start the new game. 
So we'll just skip all this. For some reason, the resolution is like really small right now. Second, and fate shall... Because it's an old release, so it makes sense. Go get some sleep. Yeah, we cannot really skip this cutscene, huh? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. So guys, that's it for the video. Also, if you don't want to like hassle in the in basically in the configuration section. Also, if you guys can look at like you are probably not able to see because of my camera. But if we like go on to the menu right now, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to uh, see in the control section. You see, I'm getting this on the down right side. You see, there's an adjust button right here. So this is basically the uh, modern controls. You can see A to change. Also, guys, make sure you don't change any of the controls in this menu. Otherwise, you might mess it up, mess it all up, basically. So now that's it for Vice City, guys. And if you want a proper configuration options, I will provide them in the in my Discord server, like I did for San Andreas. You can just join my Discord server. There's a channel called GTA SA, or I will maybe change it to GTA. And then you can simply just go there, download whatever configuration you want for your game, like GTA 5 style controls or GTA classic style controls, okay? Download whatever configuration you want, just extract them in the main folder and you are pretty much good to go. So that's it for the Vice City, guys. If we like look here right now, we can like sprint with by pressing X, X button. And we can uh, hijack vehicle using uh, this. And now if we press RT, which I'm doing right here, we can drive the car. So that's pretty good and i don't really want copyright strikes on my on my basically on my channel so let's just ignore that and move on anyway so that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like on this and make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are we're gonna do like a lot more gta related stuff very soon in the future and if you have any requests please let me know i will definitely check it out other than that make sure to join my discord server and i also do live stream on twitch and youtube every single day so make sure to drop by and say hi to me whenever i'm live if you catch me live just join here i will i really appreciate that other than that guys if you have any requests like i said let me know in the discord server and i will definitely try to fulfill it other than that guys have a really wonderful day to you wherever you are and i'm gonna see you in the next one have a good day